Hello, my name is Representative Pam Powers Hanley and I represent LD9 in Tucson in the Arizona House. Well, this is the third week of the legislative session for 2020 and things are ramping up fast. And so today's video, I'm gonna talk about two different education bills that are in the Senate Education Committee. The first one is SCR 1002, which is a Kate Brophy McGee bill to raise the sales tax in order to pay for pu public education. And so um, you might remember several years ago, the voters passed Prop 301. This was supposed to be a temporary sales tax to fund education. Uh, it was, um, it was 0.6%. Uh, and so what this does is takes it up to a whole penny of sales tax for education and it makes it permanent. Uh, Prop 301 was set to uh, expire. The bill that goes along with this is SB 1059 from Sylvia Allen. This tells how to spend the money that would be raised by raising the sales tax and making it permanent. So I would like to contrast these two bills with what's going on with Invest in Ed 2.0. I'm sure many of you remember the Invest in Ed initiative from 2018, which would have raised taxes on the richest Arizonans in order to have more funding for public education. I thought that was a great idea, and I was one of the volunteers who collected signatures for that when I was canvassing. So that was knocked off the ballot by the Arizona Supreme Court on a technolo te technicality. And so Invest in Ed 2.0 is back again. Their plan is still to tax the richest Arizonans in order to pay for education. Now, when we're talking sales tax, that means we're taxing the poor. So should we tax the poor and increase sales tax to the point where some cities are gonna be close to a 10% sales tax, which would also be bad for business and bad for the local uh, economies? Or should we tax the rich and use that money to pay for public education. I say tax the rich. Sales tax is already too high. 